Hello and welcome to CSS3 Animations. My name is Craig Campbell and I'm going to be your instructor for the duration of this course. This course is not an introduction to CSS, nor is it an introduction to CSS3. We're going to talk specifically about CSS3 Animations and I'm going to assume that you already have a firm foundation in CSS, that you know what a selector is and that you know how to put together a rule for a given selector. So again, this is not an introduction to CSS course. We're going to focus specifically on CSS3 animation. So if you don't have any history with CSS, if you've never used it before, then I would suggest going through a basic introduction to CSS course and maybe even an introduction to CSS3 course. That way, once we jump into this particular course, you'll be able to follow along and things will go smoothly from there. Uh, so in this course, we're going to learn how to create some basic animations using CSS. We're not going to touch Flash. We're not going to touch JavaScript. Everything that we do in this video series is going to be done with HTML and CSS3. And if you haven't seen what's possible with CSS3 animations, then you're going to be really surprised and really excited about the kind of things that you can do in CSS3. Now, when we talk about a CSS3 animation, we're simply talking about taking one CSS property and changing its value over time. So if, for example, you wanted to change the location of an object, you wanted to move it from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen, then you would be changing either the left property of that object to make it gradually grow over time, or maybe the margin left property to make that margin grow over time, which would kind of give the same effect of moving that object from left to right across the screen. You can even animate color. You can animate the background color of an object. And what that would do is it would take that hex value and gradually change its value over time from the beginning value to the end value. Uh, so there are tons and tons of possibilities when we're talking about animating using CSS. Now, as we go through this series, we'll also talk about some of the limitations, about sometimes where it might be better to use something like JavaScript or jQuery to do your animations, but you'll be surprised at how much we can actually accomplish using just CSS3. So let's get started in the next video. Thank you for watching.